You know, I'm all for slicing samples the traditional way and just bashing the pads until you come up with different variations of the sample. However, this approach can get a bit boring and stale sometimes. So if you want to get a different result, you gotta come up with something new. For this method, we're using Ableton Live's sampler device, so you will need the sweet version of Live. And this is a technique that's mainly used in experimental and electronic music. However, you can use it for any genre and still come up with really good results. Let's see what it's all about right away. So here's how it works. You just load up a sample into Sampler. You can specify a starting point with the sample start parameter. Just hold tight. We'll fly into the moon, you. So we go to the MIDI tab and you see this modulation matrix. And the idea here is to make the velocity affect the sample start. So different velocity of our MIDI notes will make the sample start from a different position in the sample. Pretty crazy. And just to clarify, velocity doesn't really necessarily mean volume. This is just a MIDI control parameter that is most often assigned to volume because this is how physical instruments work. If you hit them with a higher velocity, they play a louder sound. However, when it comes to MIDI programming, you can map velocity to something else entirely. And here we're going to map it to sample start. From this drop down menu, we're going to choose sample offset. And so this control here essentially specifies to what extent the velocity affects the sample offset. Let's say 100. Okay, so let's create a MIDI clip. Let's go for, let's say, I don't know, one bar MIDI clip. And I'm just gonna draw 16th notes, simple 16th notes in this MIDI clip. Just gonna play it. Nothing to write home about. However, the thing here is that if we change the velocity for each note, we are actually chopping the sample because each note will play the sample from a different position and we're going to get some really unpredictable results. But after some messing around with it, I got this thing. Let's add some drums. Lay down some chords. Here is another variation that I came up with when I set the velocities to gradually increase and decrease for each successive note. So thanks everyone for watching, don't forget to check out my packs from the link down in the description the video, join our Discord server if you want to connect with fellow producers from around the world, and also give the video a like if it was useful, and hope to see you in the next one.